Hola, la maestra loca here. I'm so excited to share a new brain break with you that I actually learned from my husband who got the idea from Instagram. He found it scrolling um, through his reels and he said, oh my gosh, this would make a great brain break for your classes. And he's right and it's epic and you're going to love it with your students. I call it eliminado or um, we also call it don't flinch in my classes. And I've changed it from what I learned on Instagram. I've got it from seven deadly cheeses on Instagram. I've changed it to be um, two circles in my classroom. So I put, no matter what size my class is, I put them into two circles. Uh, if you need to, you might even need to do three circles and make it a rotation. And you give each circle one ball, one object to throw. I don't have enough balls in my classroom, so I use unicorns, of course. And each circle gets, one person in that circle gets a ball and they start to throw it. They don't have to throw it every time. They can like pretend to throw it. And if the person that they're pretending to throw it to flinches, they're out. This is problematic for me because if you know me, you know I don't like outs during brain breaks. I don't like opportunities for kids to go sit down. I like them up and moving. So if a kid gets out, in this case, they just go to the next circle. How perfect is that? They just go to the next circle. And so there's constantly people moving in and out of the circles. Um, if they throw it and the person doesn't catch it, they're also out. If they throw it and they throw it terribly and there was no way for a person to catch it, then the person who threw it is out and they go to the next circle. Um, students are loving it. I hope that yours do too. In fact, I know they will. So let me know if you need more details on this. Um, a link to my blog is in the uh, comments or if you're watching this on the blog, then yay. Adios. Enjoy. Bye, you're out. <laughs>